In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a transit card to your Apple wallet. This process is simple and efficient and takes just about five minutes to complete. Whether you're a daily commuter or planning to visit a city with a major transit system, adding your transit card to Apple wallet can save you time and effort. Let's dive in. First, grab your Apple device and let's get started by opening the wallet app. The Wallet app is your digital repository for everything from boarding passes to credit cards and today we're focusing on transit cards to make your travels smoother. Once you have the app open, locate the plus button in the top right corner. This button is your gateway to adding new items to your wallet. Go ahead and tap this button to start the process. Now you'll be presented with several options. From these, select transit card to specify that you want to add a transit related item. If this is your first time navigating through Wallet App Editions, don't worry, it's all very user friendly. It's at this stage you might want to hit continue. This nudges the app along, letting it know you're ready for the next step. Here comes step three, which is all about choosing your transit system. Each city usually has a specific system, like Suica in Japan, Clipper in San Francisco, or Omni in New York. This diversity is accounted for, so select the transit card that matches your city or the city you're visiting. Selecting the correct transit card ensures you have access to the correct fares and available routes. When you've picked your card, you'll see a prompt to tap the card's name to proceed. By tapping, you're telling the app you want to focus on this specific card and no other option is preferable. Once you've done this, it's time to move to step four, adding or transferring your card. In this step, you need to choose whether you're adding a new card or transferring an existing physical card to your device. If you're transferring, you'll be prompted to enter the required balance or account information for that existing card. This is essential for ensuring any current balance isn't lost in the transition. Lastly, let's talk about money. You may need to add money to your card, especially if it's a new addition. To do this, use Apple Pay or another linked payment method. This ability to top up your card from the comfort of your device ensures that you're always ready to hop on that bus or train without scrambling for change. And there you have it. Your transit card should now be added to your Apple wallet ready for use. This way, whether you're in your hometown or exploring new ones, you're always prepared to move seamlessly through transit systems. Thanks for joining today and I hope your travel experiences become just a bit easier with your transit card right in your Apple wallet. Safe travels!